Hey everybody, welcome back to an attack boost war. So, the mechanic of the attack boost is one that means you don't want to draw your battle out too long if you don't have to, but there's not a whole lot that you need to think about while you're fighting. So, this is more of a try and pre plan while you're making your team, and then while you're playing, you don't need to worry about it. They have eight flags left at 54 so we're down by 150 and we've got 19 flags so we're we're doing pretty good here but we still don't want to mess around so let's go in here so i'm going to talk a little bit this video might be a little bit longer because i want to talk a little bit more about team composition and target selection as we start seeing more heroes that are, you know, these new heroes that have special tricks or uh, just do a lot of damage or whatever. So I want to talk through those a little bit. So I've pre-made my teams like I normally do so that I can look at my teams in this inspect window here and uh, see the whole team all together. And my first team here, I've been using this team for a while. And if they have an anti-minion hero, then I would swap out Director Zuri with someone like Cleopatra. And then with this combo here, I've got Louis, who can dispel all. Hurricane, who can put in a strong ailment for damage and also deals a lot of damage. Aramis deals a lot of damage and heals. And then this can swap out. So sometimes I'll run with Constance here. Sometimes Melosi. Melosi is a great counter for Ludwig. I put him in here so I don't forget. And so what kind of target are we looking for with this team? We're looking for a team that has a lot of buffs so that we can dispel them with the dispel all. That can become a weakness for a team. If a team has someone like Ferdinand without a taunt hero, then with Louis, these, these are all average speed. These are all going to charge together. So I would fire Louis first to dispel the, all the buffs off of everybody and then hit with Aramis because Aramis is going, I want him to steal as much HP as possible and heal as much as possible, and then I'll finish up with Hurricane. So that's the attack strategy here. If I'm going against a team that doesn't have Ludwig, and a dodge hero would be better for me, I would put Constance in here. So this is a 3-2 team. I'd like to maintain that 3-2 integrity, and I'm looking for a team that probably has a holy flank. Probably Ferdinand, actually. This team here is a minion team, so I would I would want to take an anti-minion hero against that tank. If I'm not going to go against minion tanks, then I'm looking for someone like either Aramis or Ludwig here. Even Bastet isn't bad if you can if you have that dispel all. But the problem here is they've got Lady of the Lake, and so I would want to take one of my War of, no, my Lunar New Year heroes to negate her effect. So my best targets here, I think, are going to be one of these two. And they both have holy flanks here. So if I use Melosi to prevent Ludwig from firing, this team's got... Ferdinand, where I would need Louis in order to get rid of that. So between Melosi and Ferdinand, I should be able to break this synergy. So let's look at this team's strengths and weaknesses here. They've got this combo here, aside from the fact that Tinsel's going to hit over and over again. That's just direct damage. So... They don't have any anti-minion heroes, so Director Zuri would be fine here. It's basically 
I got to take out the tank and then use my, my hard hitting heroes to knock out this side. He prevents buffs on my own team, but I don't use a whole lot of buffs usually. So, um, yeah, we'll probably just jump in here and use this team, this first team. So I start with my uh, power healer. I'm going to put in my specialist here. Melosi's job is to negate Ludwig. So then I'm going to put my defense down. The, the hero that I'm going to fire first from left to right will be here. And who, who I fire first between Aramis and Hurricane can depend. But because Aramis is a healer, I'm going to put him here. So I've got any protects. So he's a defensive specialist there. And that looks good. Well, let's jump in and let's see how this goes. Okay, I got the holy matches that I need here to stop Ludwig from going off. So that's good. I don't have a lot of dark matches here. So we got defense. We don't have offense. So we're going to need to work on that. Um, let's see. If I make this match this way, pull this in here then that will match the yellows and combo into these blues. Move the red up, bring some stuff in down here. Um, there's not a lot else. If I do the dragon bomb here, which I don't need because Melosi's fast. I mean, Melosi's very fast, so it doesn't do me any good to do the dragon bomb. If I had, like, mist, that would be great. Because she's fast, but I don't need that. So I am going to take this first. Let's see what that gives us. It's a lot of red. Okay, I need to charge Melosi. And now I don't really want to waste him yet. So it's three turns, three turns, but I do have two more matches out here. So I am going to go ahead and fire him. And now I'll do this. Oh, I don't want to mess up. Yeah, let's do this. Take our first dark match. All right. Not bad so far. Going pretty good. We will do this. All right, and Ludwig does a big fat nothing. So now we need darks. And I kind of want to keep everything going up the middle. So let's do this. And let's do this. I'm going to need some, need to heal. Let's do this just in case there's a cascade here. All right, well, he's gone. So this is an uber control battle. We're getting yellows. And just in time, we will just stop Ferdinand from doing anything here. And I'm going to let... Oh man, they're all firing. Hmm. I need to... I need to... I need the extra minions out there. And then we'll ghost this to try and get close to
Oh, I forget that Ferdinand can uh, cleanse first. Okay. We now can't mess around too much more here. I need darks. There we go. That is good. Okay. Let's dispel. And now we will, um, which side? I want to work on, wow, that's too much damage. Let's do this. All right, she's got burn. Okay, I'm going to save <clears throat> a low C. For a second and see. Now, oh, there we go. All right, now we cleansed and healed, and we're looking pretty good. So we'll take our dark match. And we're probably going to send a bunch of stuff into him. So let's go ahead and do this and make that match. And now it's just a matter of dark matches here. Oh, we're not going to stop him anyways because he cleanses. Let's just keep hitting him. Nice. So if I had gone mono purple, because I, my intention was to attack with purple, I would have, I would have gotten zero in this. But because I went... 3-2 and had a defense color even though Melosi is not a good attacker but Melosi is a good specialist and he does do damage technically <laughs> some Melosi got kills here so you know that's that's it that's the strategy in a nutshell so I won't talk through in such detail every attack but that is something that I wanted to hit pretty hard in the beginning of this battle. Let's look at our second attack team. I absolutely love this team. This team is so nasty. So what I need is a non-anti-minion team. And Oh, pretty much. I mean, that team can handle most anything. We don't want a Diochan because that's we got a lot of buffs on that team. So we don't want an anti-buff team. Cena. Let's see. I'm buffing myself. They've got three damage dealers here. Not a lot of damage dealing. Um, yellow. Would be good against Aramis. And then we got blue for Hathor. And the thing is here is I don't need to dispel anything. That team doesn't have any ailments. They are all buffs. And so this team doesn't prevent my buffs at all. Oh, yeah, except El Nadaha. So what I have here is Ferdinand. And Sif is my five star version of Cyprian. And then we'll put, nope, the hippo out there, sorrow here, and then put the taunt in the middle. So this is important because I need to have um, Krampus covered by both counterattack and minions from sorrow. Let's go and give this a shot. This team is equally dangerous with yellow or blue, so I just need either yellow or blue, and it looks like I got both here, <laughs> so this is a good start. If I take this double right here, that is going to bring this up and this up, so it won't really mess up this match. Is there a better move? 
I've got three blues right here, which I, I want to make sure I keep these together. So a couple ways to do this. Let's see, I could take this blue. Now let's take the double. Then I have to bring these together. Holy moly. Okay. I'll take these two. Aramis is already gone. Wow. All right, so you get to see how this team works here. First, I hit Hippo. And then I'm going to hit Ferdinand and do Hippo damage. Hit Krampus and do Hippo damage. And then Sif is going to give counterattack all over here. Hippo damage. We got Sorrow, Hippo Damage, and what's left here? We will see if we can't. Yeah, she just died. I was just trying to set her off because, yeah, even if they slash attack, they're going to die if they hit the counter attack. And so, yeah, there's. Not much to do here except just let the minions do their thing. And then this is how we kill them. All right, well, we had such a good board. You don't get to see how scrappy that team is, but it is very scrappy. So <clears throat> let's see what's next here. All right, so we got Cyprian and Annabelle. Oh, I wanted to take them. Yeah, that's okay. All right, so Queen Gwang, if her after she fires, if it's dispelled, even if it's dispelled by your own team, then they take the extra damage. And Erlang Shen, if the ailment is removed that he puts on them, which Annabelle will do that as well, and they'll take the extra damage there. Now, we got to be careful with him and with him, but they hit all, and if our counterattack is up, then they're just going to kill themselves. Same with her. That's another reason why I like this team here. And yeah, let's try it. Let's see how this team works out. All right, we're starting off with the yellow diamond, which we will take here. I'm going to go ahead and, and take this shot here. I don't want to do anything foolish. So we will take that. Now I need to set up my darks. So mm -hmm, let's rather throw tiles into their healer. I have to. Which way would be better? Probably. No, I want to move this up one. Duh. And that's even better because this allows me to make this match so I can ghost it. And. This should be enough. Perfect. 
All right, she did overheal, but it's okay. We will start with these two. And then we're going to cleanse. And they'll all take the extra damage. Now we can hit with Dead Boot, even though there's no buffs there. And we'll get Cyprian going. So, let's see, let's bring some stuff together here. Ojima killed himself. There are a lot of greens here. Let's see. How do I... Let's see if that'll kill him. Did good, perfect. Okay, now, now there's no more strategy left. Now we just make matches. And we will remove their buffs and heal up. And I wonder if I can steal her buff. Not. Right, she's dead. Nice. Okay. Next. We've got a couple options to choose from here. This is a very fast attack team in dark with a taunt hero that does counterattack. This is an anti-minion team, and this is just a bulldozer team. So let's see what we need. We can go anti-minion here. That's going to negate Diochan completely. And Lu Bei basically cuts his effectiveness in half. Tetashiri is still dangerous. But I think we can handle just Tetashiri. So we can dispel for Thunderclap. We can protect against ailments from Tetashiri. We got two healers. All right, so with Hypnos, if I can even get two matches, then I can prevent his taunt. So I think we'll start with this so I can bring this red match together. Ah, nice, we got the diamond. I'll definitely take that. Because Diochan doesn't do anything, there's no need to worry about her. So we can go ahead and throw tiles into her. So I'll do this. And it killed her anyways. Neither one of them are going off yet. So, actually I'm going to be able to set him off again. But I can't dispel, so... 
think this will be okay. Perfect. Now I can power everyone up. Hit really hard with hypnose and dispel and prevent buffs from hypnose. And Tetashiri is the biggest problem out here. So I'm going to hit Tetashiri. And now. See if uh, not enough to kill him. He's still got the block for two turns, so yeah, I'm just gonna set him off. Bloop, immune. All right. That went smoothly. Two attacks left, and we've got... All right, we got this team. Yeah, we've got some options here. So we got the fast dark, and then we've got that holy team. Okay, so speed kills in this game, and I mean, speed always kills in every game. So I'm thinking this team here have that very fast dark team. I pulled Lu Bei in the Soul Exchange. I was debating between Lu Bei and Conchu, and now that I have Dead Boot, I really wish that I would have pulled Conchu. I would have such a devastating team, but I pulled Lu Bei, so um, I have a good green team now. We'll see how this goes. I might try that team out. But so we got this team here. They this is a strong team. They've got, they've got Aramis and Guardian Hippo that the Guardian Panther could block their buffs. Specifically, I'm looking at Hippo here. Looking at you, Hippo. And then I've got Oniwakamaru. I've got Taunt. That I can try to absorb damage from these guys. These two teams left. See, with Erlang Shen out there, I don't want... If Erlang fires first, I won't be able to fire Guardian Gazelle without causing a bunch of damage to myself. Although, the Lhasa will, can block his nonsense. Whereas this team here... This team here is great against slower teams like more defensive teams this team is built more for this team here which team am i gonna pick i am thinking this team problem i don't know if there's a problem or not let's give it a shot Let's let's see how this goes. Um, do they have anything to bypass? Yeah, they do actually. They can buy. She can bypass Aramis's um, prevention of ailments. So I will leave that. Let's give you the increased attack and. Yeah, this looks good. There's no one out here who can take advantage of the minions. And so 
I am going to swap. I know that seems crazy to take a double and a broken Jove out, but this is all about getting the right team in here. Hojima can handle those minions. We still have the dispel. Ah, I, I, you know, I want the taunt. So I'm going to take Oni Wakamaru. Kind of messing up my next team, but that's okay. I like this a little better. Gives me a lot more defense. And still some good attack. Yeah, I like that. Okay. No crazy good board to start this time. We've got Holy down here, so I want to make this match and see if we can get oh, something Holy going on. I did not. All right, we need this point. It's really the blues that we need. And so I'm going to go for blue here. Well, that really throws me for a loop here. Okay. Let's throw these. And... Don't think three is going to set him off. Perfect. Okay. So now we can give ourselves protection and overheal. Give them fiends, reduce their attack power. And give us counter attack for the two that are going to attack. And now we're going to Try to get some holies. Okay, good. That swallowed up their first round of attacks. Um, I think I'm going to make this diamond here. Getting another blue doesn't necessarily help all that much, and I need to clear this out. Now we'll take the blue diamond. Yeah, sure. Take this. This blue diamond will lead into this match here. Nice. Okay, good. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So what we want to do now is start with Ojima because there's a bunch of minions out there. So that gives them a negative six stack. Now we can hit with Dispel and heal and hit hippo here. Nice. Let's ghost while he's gone. He's not ready to fire, so. Uh, let's see. Let's take a blue. Now I just want a yellow. There we go. 
They're going to keep taking damage from the fiends anyways. Hey, Erlang Shen, how many times are you going to revive? One more of what I actually have left, because I broke up that team. I still have them, which is a pretty good combo. Hmm. Okay, I've got a good... I can go purple and red. Or blue, I can make another anti minion team, which I am going to do. All right, so I can prevent the effects of their minions, but I don't want a lot of minions out here. So here we've got we can take advantage of the minions and we can prevent them from stealing our buffs. We've got strong tiles against Sobek. Can't dispel Ferdinand though. Not going to work. All right, for our last attack, we are going to attack here. Bastet is probably the biggest problem. Ruffian is with the mana steel is can be problematic. Lady of the Lake, we got to take care of Lady of the Lake before she fires her minions. So let's go in here. It's all right. I like this. Let's go. All right, we need greens and blues. So I think I can only do this or this. Could move this. Yeah, let's do this. Let's cascade that. That is not as helpful as I would like. I have to do that. All right, looks like Bastet's going off. Let's take this. Set her off. Give ourselves some heal. Ghost a little bit, see if we can come up with something here. This. Okay. She's still problematic, so I am going to attack her and I'll hit her with Zendrella. Not quite dead.
Yeah, this team worked out great. I uh, hope you like this video. I talked through it a little bit more than I usually do, but you know, with these heroes, it's all about countering and not just countering, but you have to realistically counter. So like using Melosi, I, you know, he's very fast. You can pretty much count on being able to get two matches. It's that third match. That's always really difficult. So, you know, look through the heroes that you've got that are very fast and look through your four star heroes like mist those are heroes that are are extremely powerful mist had i not had melosi i would have put mist in there and mist would have worked actually better because she prevents the buff on three and reduces their mana generation by 64 percent for three turns so yeah she's a powerful hero so I would say if you're struggling with these new heroes, look back at your four stars. They are much easier to get. You have a lot of them. And while they're not quite as powerful as the five stars, at least you have them. And you know, you can use those direct counters against some of these heroes. The most problematic, I think, is really Luna at this point. Uh, stopping Stopping this is, I mean, you need Melosi. I sh should have shown that actually. She's fast, so she doesn't give you a lot of time. But if you've got Melosi and you hit her, she won't do the the health. Yeah, and she can't buff, so it totally negates her. Now this this team's got a lot to worry about here, but. Um, yeah, best of luck and let me know if there's any hero you're struggling with specifically and I'll make a video on how to stop them. I think Luna is going to be my next one to um, show you how to counter. So that being said, I'll see you in the next video.